What's up everybody? Welcome to Seapro Fishing. My name is Wayne and today we're going to unbox the new Shimano Speedmaster 16 second generation. I'm real excited about this reel. I've actually wanted to get the Shimano Talica 16 but due to the heavy price tag of $550 I've been putting it off. When this reel hit the market and I saw the small differences and all the similarities I had to check it out and I got one. So let's take a look at it now and look at the comparisons. The Speedmaster takes a mono line up to 30 pounds and a power pull braid up to 80 pounds, specifically designed for a braided line. The weight, 26.5 ounces with four stainless steel ball bearings, a gear ratio of 5.7 to 1. It also dropped down to low gear at 3.1 to 1. An impressive 42 inches per crank and a powerful maximum drag of 40 pounds. Looking at the Talica 16, everything is the same except for two things. You get six stainless steel ball bearings instead of four, which is impressive, and you lose one inch per crank. So now that we've looked at the specs on this reel, let's see where Shimano was able to cut costs compared to the Talica, which was retailing at $540 compared to $260 for this Speedmaster. First, the Talica has a machine grade metal finish as opposed to the Speedmaster, which has the metal painted finish. So it's probably not gonna hold up as far as looking as nice over the long term. It's gonna probably get some more scratches and, and banged up a little bit. But I don't see that being too much of a problem. Also, you've got a plastic lever drag instead of the metal on the Talica. And the biggest cost savings at all, obviously, is the bearings. The Talica 16 has six ball bearings, stainless steel, ARB ball bearings, where this only has four. So there's a cost savings right there. Now still, it's still a great reel even with four because they are stainless steel ball, ball bearings and they've also got the side fittings on the, on the bearings where it's gonna pre prevent more salt water and sand intrusion into the bearings and into the reel. Now for the similarities, you're still getting up to 40 powerful pounds of drag and 42 inches on every single turn, which is actually an inch better than the Talica. 42 inches compared to 41 inches. Now, if you put this in the two speed, you're gonna get 23 inches per turn, all right? So you can have a heavy drag, that fish is really pulling, you gotta get them away from the wreck, and you can still gain some line on them, which is awesome. And you can flip that right back, just as easy. In and out of one and two speed. Now, what type of fish are we targeting this reel in? Really anything you want to offshore, but mainly it's gonna be great for sailfish and mahi, especially sails when they're charging at you real fast and you've got to get a lot of line back really quick. Also, if you're going for grouper and you have to use a lot of drag and get them away from the wreck, get them away from the reef as quickly as possible and get them up to the boat. That's where you're really going to have a great time with this reel. It's also going to be a great kingfish reel because you got the speed on it too for smoker kings. I really can't think of too many situations where this would be a bad choice of a reel. Now for the line, I put a mono backing on there, a 30 pound test. This way we didn't have to put all braid on, which can get expensive. So it's topped off with 300 yards of 65 pound Prower Pro. Uh, I use the red color because red tends to disappear in the water is what they say. And when we're fishing the clear waters off of the Treasure Coast into the Gulf Stream here in Florida, you want a line that's gonna be able to disappear and not be seen by the fish. So let's just test this drag and see how smooth it really is. So let's see how the clicker sounds. Wow, that's really nice. Comes off nice and smooth and it's plenty of loud where you'll hear it going off. Now let's check out how smooth this drag is. Let's zero it out. That was seven pounds of drag coming off fairly easy. Let's bump it up. Zeroed out. That's 15 pounds of drag right there. I can't believe it. This reel will go up to 40. Unbelievable. But that was really smooth. All right. We've pushed it up all the way up into full. So on the strike there, we had 16 pounds drag, and if we push it in a full, let's see what happens.
Oh my God. Still pulling off smooth. That was 27 pounds of drag right there. All right, let's give this one more try. See how high we can get it. Was it coming off smooth? And we can go a little higher here. Thirty pounds right there, coming off smooth. All right, so I feel confident. I feel confident right there that I don't. I don't think I ever need to go to forty pounds of drag, but I feel confident going up to thirty with this reel, which is more than you're gonna. I mean, you're gonna be really into a battle at that point. So, great smooth drag on this reel. They did not BS with this one. You got the star pair flex here. As you can see, braided line is rated for 30 to 180 pounds, so perfect. And mono is 30 to 50, 4 to 10 ounces. This is an amazing, amazing rod. One of the top of the line star rods. You've got these Fuji guides. They're just beautiful. And you can see it's not a really thick blanket at the bottom, but it's heavy action and it's strong as an ox. So this is going to be a perfect rod to uh, put this reel on. Wow, that is so light. Feels so light, this combo. Oh man. As you can hear, I don't know if you can hear that, but that is smooth right there. I am ready to catch some big fish on this. Two speed, drop it down. Go right back to first speed, easy with the nice little click right there. All right, so there you have it. The new Shimano Speedmaster 16, second generation. Looks like one hell of a reel for one hell of a price. Paired up with the Star Paraflex. It's gonna be a great combo. We're experiencing 10 foot seas right now. We've got 30 knot winds, but as soon as that lays down, I plan on getting out there and showing you guys what this reel could do and putting on some big fish. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss those videos or any other awesome action that we've put out in the past. I appreciate you stopping by and checking out this video. Tight line.